What's up guys, welcome to Throwback Thursday. I'm gonna start this video with a quick competition announcement. I'm gonna announce the winner of the Asphalt 8 Airborne competition that I set last Friday on the Supercars of London uh, YouTube channel. Thank you for everyone who sent in your screenshots to me on Twitter and Instagram, and we had some really good times, some average times, some not so good times, but thank you to everyone who entered, and there's gonna be a lot more competitions like that to come with some awesome prizes. I can reveal that the winner is ALT underscore J underscore on Twitter. So well done you. Uh, you posted an awesome time of 1 minute 50.946 I think which was um, a lot faster than my time and actually about 5 to 6 seconds quicker than anyone else that um, submitted their time. So well done. I'm going to be in contact with you and um, you're going to be having the choice of either a new tablet or a new mobile phone and um, maybe we can get you in the passenger seat of this car as well. So that's the Asphalt Airborne 8 competition done. That was a bit of a uh, mouthful, I think. There's the announcement. Now let's get on to this Throwback Thursday. Now before we start this video, if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you'd have seen that I've been hitting the gym recently, trying to get myself into shape as I've probably had too many McDonald's. So um, bear with me as my legs are still aching and my arms and shoulders are just as bad. So cue all of the comments on this YouTube video. Do you even lift? At the moment, I'm struggling to lift this video camera. But let's start with Throwback Thursday. Last week we did the Ferrari 599 Manchester Stallone, which was an awesome car. Um, one of my favorite videos that I've filmed and I think just the fact that it was a raw, raw video um, and it's got so many hits on YouTube that it had to be done as the first video. This week we're going to be doing my favorite car but it's also the loudest car that I've ever heard in London. It's louder than Tron, it's louder than the matte black Lamborghini Aventador with Capristo test pipes. It's the black and yellow Lamborghini Murcielago LP640 Haman. When this car arrived I saw it on YouTube uh, whilst I was at home and I saw, watched this video and I thought that car is absolutely insane. We'd never had any tuned cars come over in 2007 or 2006 so um, it was a real eye-opener for me and the next day I headed into London with my good friend and we tried to hunt down this car and lo and behold we managed to track it down and I tell you what when we tracked it down and we heard what it sounded like in real life it literally vibrated the floor it vibrated my insides as it accelerated off that we just had to film more and more of it. Ooh, that really made me jump. <laughs> So the LP640 Haman, we tracked it down, we caught some really cool footage of it over that summer and it is by far the loudest car that we've ever heard. Bearing in mind this is 2008, before the residents started to complain about the noise levels and these guys racing around the streets of London and I'm pretty sure that this car may have had something to do with it, so check out this footage. are killing me so back in the car and um, what do you guys think of that I mean it is totally insane and I would ah, I've got a bug on me anyway um, it is literally insane when I saw that car for the first time I think I heard it before I saw it which um, isn't unusual in London but this car just with the two tailpipes the LP640 has normally got that one big one these had two tailpipes and it was actually followed around by a big Mercedes Viano the whole time in London you may have seen some of the uh, videos got the Mercedes a silver Mercedes Viano in the background that was because this car kept breaking down and it also made the headlines of the summer of 2008 because the owner sent it back to his home country in Qatar to get it serviced and then get it shipped back and I think it cost him like 15 to 20 grand just for this service on the Lamborghini which is absolutely insane. The owner of the car is um, a really cool guy and um, is a regular in London. He's had the red SLR Mansory Renovatio which I've filmed do a couple of nice slides. This year he had a really nice brown Porsche Turbo S which um, I don't think I caught on film because he drove it so quick that I didn't manage to get it on film. Anyway going back to the Lamborghini Murcielago, the Haman, I mean it literally blows my ears every time that I watch the video and um, being able to hear it in real life and trying to relay what it sounds like to you guys who um, didn't hear it in real life and have just uh, seen my videos. It's um, a mixture between thunder, um, 
God clapping his hands um, and 200 million tons of cement hitting water. That's probably the best best description I could possibly give on what this car sounds like. And then when it came round um, for this 0 to 100 mile an hour video that we caught around the back sides, side streets of London, um, I literally didn't know what was gonna happen. He was cruising at about 10 miles an hour and I was just filming him looking around, not really know what was going on. He was driving so slow dropped it down a gear, and then the rest is history. He booted it in a straight line, and the Mini that is behind uh, literally disappeared out of the video. It drove past, and the uh, taxi driver that was uh, parked up, I'm not sure whether that's in the video though, the taxi driver, if he is, I'm gonna slow it down so you guys get to see which taxi it was. He literally poked his head out the window and goes, in hell. Obviously I bleeped that out for YouTube, uh, no swearing. attempt to uh, stand back up and hold the camera so that acceleration was probably probably it was it is the best acceleration I have ever caught on video in central London over the six years that I've been filming the LP 640 Haman I don't even want to begin what decibel reading that has on revs I asked the owner for revs um, on numerous occasions back in 2008 and he said no the car is too loud I can't rev it here um, which shows the respect that he had for the residents and everyone around him that he knew how loud his car was and I mean my car's loud but it has got nothing nothing on that v12 and um, I've definitely vowed to a lot of my friends in London that one day I will own an LP640 and put that uh, exact Haman Supersport exhaust system on that car. And the funny thing is, when I filmed uh, this car in London, Haman Motorsports, the company, the, uh, the tuning company, actually took my video, took the sound file and put it next to the exhaust system that they had for sale. They didn't tell me about it, um, but they used my sound clip and breached copyright rules in terms of using my sound and my video to try and sell their exhaust systems because I think that it was the only one in the world at the time which really annoyed me I got in contact with Haman I told them that it was my uh, video it was copyright to me it was copyright to supercars of London and they sort of said well what do you want for it and I said uh, well at the time I was 17 18 years old I didn't really know what I wanted so I asked for I think it was 300 to 400 pounds Never heard anything back. That sound file, the video file got taken down and I never heard anything since. So um, it was quite strange, but I mean, it would have been awesome to get 400 pound for a video, a 10, 15 second video, but unfortunately that never happened. But that's a sort of a backstory behind the uh, black LP640 Haman. Unfortunately, uh, that was the last we saw of it. I think we saw it three times um, over the whole, the whole summer. We saw it about three times, which was a shame, but every single time I watched that video, it still gives me goosebumps and I'm going to play a lot more footage in this video for you guys to watch if you haven't seen any of this black LP640 Haman make sure you check it out don't eat, like look at my videos of course but and make sure that you check out everyone else's videos because there was a few car spotters around that time that filmed and photographed that black Lamborghini LP640 Haman absolutely insane absolutely insane and it's something that I inspire to I've got a silly coloured, sillyly loud Audi R8, which is probably inspiration off the uh, silly coloured black and yellow. And it had some gold carbon fibre as well, if you look carefully, of this LP640 Hummer. I'm getting leaves in my mouth as well, which is annoying. So there's a throwback Thursday video again, um, talking about the LP640, my favourite car. And then obviously with the exhaust system, even more of my favorite car and if you're asking whether it's louder than Tron if you're asking me whether it's louder than the matte black Aventador or any other car in London I will always say that the Haman LP640 is the loudest car I've ever heard in London or the loudest supercar because there's a lot of uh, loud rally cars a lot of loud um, other stuff but supercar wise it's by far the loudest supercar that I've ever heard <laughs>
hope you guys have enjoyed uh, me talking about one of my favourite cars and also some of the most insane videos that I've caught in London of this Haman Murcielago. Um, next week, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be filming, but maybe I'll be doing the Cinque Roadster, doing some nice power slides around the top of Sloan Street in central London. But maybe I won't. So we'll see what happens, uh, but there's definitely going to be another Throwback Thursday video next Thursday. Um, this weekend, I've got some really cool stuff lined up. Tomorrow, I'm going up to Kit Customs to talk about rewrapping this Audi R8. So if you've got any suggestions, please let me know. Um, I'm really looking forward to the change. The red and the gold actually looks quite nice because I cleaned it yesterday. Um, but it's definitely time for a change and maybe it's something like this colour. Yeah, I like this colour. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed um, and you can continue enjoying these videos of Throwback Thursday. I look forward to seeing you very soon for some more Supercars of London action. I'm going to be heading into central London Knightsbridge to film whatever I can find. So I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.